This is the second video in this series on turning finials. This time, I will be turning a finial with carbide tools. As you can see in this pic, the result is quite similar to the previous finial turned with traditional tools. I was surprised to find that this finial stayed together despite a considerable crack that developed in the blank. Stick around and see how it's done. As with any finial, the first order of business is to get the blank round. An easy wood tools rougher rounds the blank out nicely. Once round, the end is tapered to prepare for turning the fine details on the end of the finial. The micro detailer is then used to start to develop the detail at the tip. The long edges of the diamond shaped cutter can be used like a scraper to fair and smooth the short convex curves on the bottom of the onion shaped portions of the finial. The round cutter on the finisher is great for cutting the gentle curves of the onion portion of the finials. The tight radius of the small round cutter on the smoother tool makes easy work of the long flowing curve that generally connects the tip of the finial with the bulb or onion near the base. It is very important that this cut be made with a very sharp cutter and with very light pressure as this part can easily break away. The micro tools are very helpful in this instance as the small size of the cutters allow for creating fine details and the short bars allow working close to the piece.
Minimal sanding should be needed. It is important to mention a few things about sanding finials. First off, be gentle. I personally have broken more finials during sanding than at any other point. Secondly, sanding can be your saving grace, especially starting out. Proper sanding technique can help you to finesse shapes and curves. One note of caution when sanding finials, don't sand past the transition. A coat of Yorkshire grit is applied, followed by a coat of wax that is buffed to a nice sheen. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell to be notified of future releases. It is super helpful when these videos are shared with others. I have included Amazon links below for some of the tools and products that I use in this video. And when you're out in your shops, be safe. And remember, dread not and make something. Peace.